Jeff, it was difficult to hear just about two hours ago in this courthouse. We heard from updated arrest warrants for both Sierra Ely, the mother, and Marcus Richardson, the boyfriend. In those warrants, investigators say they found Ely's son, Romy Tyler III, with lacerations and bruising all over his body. Both the mother and the boyfriend made their first appearances in Nash County Court today, starting with 30-year-old Marcus Richardson. Richardson is charged with first-degree murder in the child's death. The warrant says he was supervising the one-year-old at the home at 619 Paul Street yesterday morning at the time he became unresponsive. Police were called to that house saying that the child was un unresponsive in the bathtub. They arrived and rushed the boy to UNC Nash Hospital, where he was later pronounced dead. Last night, police said they found serious bodily injury to that child, and they arrested Ely and Richardson. The judge told Richardson he could face the death penalty or life in prison for this situation, and Richardson asked for a court-appointed lawyer. Then came the mother, 27-year-old Sierra Ely. The judge told her she could face up to 16 years in prison if convicted of felony child abuse. Ely broke down in emotion while being questioned. You could see here she was shaking with uh, the feeling of this situation, telling the judge this was her first ever criminal charge. Ely also asked for a court-appointed attorney. Now, both of them are going to remain in the jail for uh, at this point. Richardson uh, does not have the opportunity for bond because he's facing a first-degree murder charge. And Ely, with a $250,000 secured bond, they're due next in court on October 6th for a probable cause hearing. At that point, we will hear from prosecutors for the first time seeing the evidence against both of them. Jeff? Certainly disturbing evidence. Keenan Willard live for us in Rocky Mount. Keenan, thank you. We are also working to learn